Uh, to replace this cowl, all you're going to need is a half inch wrench. I prefer a nut driver. You don't have to really cinch these things down. Just get them snugged up real nice. Um, you can use a little ratchet if you like, or an open end box end wrench. I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how to install a cowl for the John Deere tractors. This is pretty much applicable for anything from the 30 series through the 55s. The 55, some of those do have a fuse door. We also have that available. Um, we might install that and cut that into this video also. But right now, we're just using an old 30s cab that we have for display. And this is the way you would get your cowl. It should be labeled on the side with whatever cowl you ordered. This box usually will contain only a cowl, but if you buy other products or a complete cab kit, we may take some of the parts and put them in this so we can reduce the number of packages to save you a little bit of money on shipping. So we'll always combine shipping whenever possible. That's what your call would look like when you get it. Two pieces of barrier. Just a quick mention on these barrier pieces. These are hugely important. Um, these two pieces of barrier and the foam behind your headliner probably do the bulk of the sound absorption in your cab. So don't cut corners, get a cheap cowl that doesn't have a lot of soundproofing material underneath it. We also have a kit that goes along the firewall and up against the front panel under the cowl. Uh, those I would also recommend you buy because it's a lot of sound suppression right in that area. There's a lot of hydraulic valving and stuff underneath this cowl really important that you get that suppressed. This is a, a John Deere cowl and as you can see right here on the very top by this flange this is a closed corner. In actuality that should be open so uh, there's a little lip on the dash piece that comes and should continue straight through there. And uh, on our cowl they're virtually identical except ours is open right through this piece and that flange piece can come all the way around the corner and go past here so it, it's less stress on the product because you're not pinching this point right here. It fits properly. Pretty simple installation. You just set that thing in place after you remove the old one and clean the cab up a little bit. And there's two bolts on the side. Bolt on this side. Bolt in a similar position on the other side. And then there's a two bolt holes up front here right there and on the other side similarly there's a metal plate here you you pull that metal plate back and this place where the bolt goes through is goes under that metal plate so well, these things fit pretty snug but they're supposed to get them all tucked into that groove put it into place okay you tighten the bolts on the side and it's it's very snug you know and it's supposed to be there you don't want any squeak and rattle you do not want it loose so it's going to be pretty tight but you just go ahead and wrestle it into place and tighten it up repeat on the other side do the two bottom one first after you get the sides in these front pieces sort of almost self-aligned they're just lined up pretty good you get one started Finger tight. The other one, you know, gotta push the cowl in just a little bit here. Everything should line up pretty well. Uh, make sure you get through the holes in the cowl, or the cowl is gonna be too gappy. Okay, once you get that in there, you push the excess material of the cowl. Down under a lip up on top here, and then just tighten those things up. And you'll hear a little squeaking, and that's just the plastic sliding around. You want it to be nice and tight because if you you don't have a good tight fit, you'll end up with uh, squeak and rattle. And that's just from a poor fitting part. If you get these things lined up properly, you get it in there. It'll be nice and tight. There'll be no rattle, nothing in that cowl and uh, be a nice tight fit, quiet, 
easy installation. It's a little bit tight on the two side holes, but uh, once you get those things in and you get it drawn down, put a little pressure on it, everything lines up pretty well. Um, should make a quite a bit of a difference in the sound suppression in your cab because like I said, a lot of noise comes from under the cowl and between the headliner and the roof. So make sure your foam is in good condition in those two spots.